All right, I'm going to give you a quick little rundown preview for uh, Neverwinter. Uh, I must say for the first beta weekend, it's top notch. Very surprised. Uh, it's way better than I thought. And I played this back in PAX East 2012 and got the beta key there. So I'm just going to go through the basic stuff and the stuff that you can do and how advanced it is already and I'm, I'm very impressed by it. So you know my blog, Gaming Fanatic, it's raw and uncut so it's not going to get edit, edited. I'm not going to press nobody and if I screw up, so be it. You guys get a laugh and that, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> so then let's move on and we'll go to the option menu first and go from there. Alright. We'll do the HUD first, and this is an impressive part. You can, right from the bat, they're not telling you, oh, when the, after a month the game goes live, we're going to let you rearrange the HUD. The HUD is already able to re rearrange, and I did it. I changed my mount. I put it on the left side. I put the inventory bag on the other side. I put the self-status, team status, all on that side, and I brought down the window tray. It was up at the top here in the middle. Moved it over. I like more of the stuff down on the bottom. Very impressive, like it. And they're on top of things when it comes to the UI because you can change everything around. Now we'll look at the options. As you can see, all the options are there. And I turned down some stuff so that way you can hear my voice. Maybe you don't want to hear my voice though, but <laughs> but it has everything there for sound. We'll go to the basic. You can turn the rubble on. It'll shake the screen and all, and all that kind of stuff. Auto loop, all the normal stuff. Your controls. There's only action showing now. You can change your mouse, mouse sensitivity. Voice chat. That's the only thing that was bugged. When I invited my girlfriend to the party, the whole thing was making buzzing sounds, so I turned it off. But that part was not working well at all. We already did that. The controller, you can use an Xbox gamepad or a joystick, so it should bring in a, a new type of player to an MMO to be able to use gamepads. I like that idea because a lot of people don't like to use keyboards and mouse. And your normal video setup towards whatever type of PC you have, how strong it is and what you want has everything you could ask for, for effects and everything. But this part is what really impressed me the most. Is that you can key bind anything you want. Any of the key bindings in the game, you can change it. Because I have a Razer mouse and I got 12 buttons, so I want more of the things on my mouse. And I thought this was awesome. Right from the start, normal HUD things like World of Warcraft where you can, I, I change it so I like to see the NPC names without hovering over it, but you can set it up any way you like. You can turn them all off if you're a role player and that's how you want it. So it's very role playing friendly game and a regular player like me that just likes to kill everything. You got your chat options, you know, all your normal stuff that you can put in. So. We're done with the option part. Now I'm in the that you click on because you cannot use these this, these bars in games. Action orientated type of fighting. So it's more like Skyrim, where you actually have to physically target the mob to kill it, it's no tab targeting that kind of system, you know, less buttons to press, more enjoying the screen, very fast pace, you can dodge and all that kind of stuff, so I will go through what, you know, the options on this, this quick bar here, yeah, we already saw that one. Then your normal help and support. Then you got guild management. I was too small so I couldn't make no guild. 
We got everything you need, settings, information, roster, events, news. And I know it's working because there's builds that are already made and I'll show you that. Oh, I already went there. Wrong on cut, baby. All right, now I'll show you. You got your friends list. It works right away. You can friend oh. with the Send tell from here. You know, you got your party. You can write whatever you want. You can do how you want the looting before it starts. You can allow players to join you while you're doing dungeons if they're on that same one. You can find people. See, it's all listed. 25 parties listed find a single person if you want a certain type of person for your party you can find a guild and as you can see there's already guilds made so it's all working See, they're doing the this diamond exchange just like Guild Wars, where you can use in-game money and swap it out. So that's cool. They're being smart. So if you don't want to buy the diamonds, you don't have to. You can use in-game money. So that's good. Makes players happy. I like that idea. Here's a good thing. Here's your welcome screen when you log in. I like this so much. So when there's events going on, each event is really good. I like this. So you can do, other than just doing your quest and dungeons and there's a job board. I might not be using the technical name right. Or it might be called something else. You can get the foundry quest that people make. There's always something to keep you busy. Look at this one. You can do this one, this event. To get oh. Uncover artifacts. And this one to earn experience. And this is, I mean... You could add your party to the queue and do all this kind of stuff. So this is what you see when you log in. Like the World of Warcraft calendar not using. And then the queuing system for PvP. And I didn't even realize there was PvP in the game. So this is even more of a plus. And then your catalog. Now we'll get to the character screen. This is where... As you make your character, I didn't show you that part, but when you make it, it's just like D&D kind of games. You, could, you know, they got the dice. You can change what they say. There's the dice at the beginning. Or you can take what the default is. You want to play the class. They set it up the best for that type of class, but you don't have to. You can, you can do, you get to do your attributes, whatever way you want to level it. She's a healer, so I need a lot of wisdom. And then look, you got your armors from doing quests and dungeon drops and all that kind of stuff here. You got your powers, and these as you go, and then you, each thing like your, your daily powers, they got each a slot that you change right there. Then you got your encounter powers, they're right here at the bottom, all three. Then you got your class one that goes here at the bottom, and then tab one, you switch in between. So I hit tab here, it'll change, it'll flip it around where when I do a spell, it'll be more for healing the party than doing damage. And then I hit tab back so I can go back to damage. Love it, fun. Your general stuff that you got when you picked from the beginning. Then you're at will moves, your two moves here at the end, right here. Now they got like the World of Warcraft trees. So I'm going this tree. So I want to heal, be a good healer. So, and then you go whatever one you want. So I already put points there. And there's companions, all different type. I don't have none yet, but you get a, a companion. So that's. It's very elaborate. Everything's elaborate. It's not weak. It's not plain. It doesn't when you're playing the game, it doesn't feel like it's a free-to-play game. It feels like it's the, a buy-to-play game, like Guild Wars 2 or the Secret World. 
that's actually a really, really good game. And I would pay the 20 bucks, the starter pack, to you know help the development keep going with this game because it's impressive. Everything is impressive. I, you know, little you know little bugs. Sometimes you go in a dungeon, you talk to somebody, it doesn't work. You just zone out and come back in. It's all fixed. Don't have that. Problem. For being the first beta week weekend, I'm pretty impressed of all the stuff that you can do and change around. Very impressive. Oh yeah, and you can make your own chat channel. I'll show you that. out of all the stuff you could do the foundry quest make your own dungeons for other people to quest in the PvP the regular quest blah blah, blah. I can go on and on and on there's this thing right here for the gods you do things for the gods every hour you can renew this I'm gonna show you it but if I hit F4 it's gonna take it off the screen so I'm not gonna talk but this is an added bonus as you're going into dungeons and you get all different stuff for doing this for working for the gods so I'm gonna show you this last part and then this will be my preview and I'll be done because I want to get back to playing. 